Hi there viewer, how are you feeling today? Welcome to the collective reading and this is going to be from Monday the 1st of July to Sunday the 7th of July and we're going to be looking at the energies in the collective, how that's impacting you, things that are going to be coming up that you, uh, Spirit want you to know about and just some advice and guidance from Spirit about the energies this week on your pathway. So let's have a look what's happening. We've got the new moon in Cancer this week on the 5th and we've got Mercury going to Leo on the 2nd. A lot of creative thinking. There could be an increase of self-esteem as well, so feeling more confident about things, um, but also needing to work in a very collaborative way with people that kind of care the same way that you do. So you might be feeling that with people either in the workplace or at home or with family and friends. We've got Moonstruck, take a breath. So there's something about being grounded this week staying grounded, being in your sense of the moment quite strongly and we've got sun, um, sunrise, moonrise cleansing. This feels like chakra cleansing for some of you. If you felt any off balance energy, this is not going to resonate for everybody, but if, the, if, if you have felt off, off beat in your own energy, I feel like there's a um, perhaps chakra cleansing or chakra realignment or um, chakra spinning or something to do with your chakras here for this one and we've got moon shining stay in integrity so this is about you not wavering on what you feel is true for anything for anybody stay in your integrity this week there's going to be because as I'm saying that it's like we'll always stay in your integrity because that's that's just life general guidance but there's it could be that something's coming up that causes you to be in conflict perhaps or to be in a challenging situation with communication maybe with the mercury transition this week but it's about staying in integrity and not wavering not being swayed a different way and trusting your intuition we've got follow the moon watch out for signs beautiful there is a transformation coming for you transformation in how you how you see things through perhaps Moon madness, avoid drama. Yeah, so this if there is conflict that's coming up this week, it's like staying away from it. Like take a breath, don't react to it, stay away from it. Staying away from all of the drama. And we've got moon maybe, intuition. Yes, stay in your intuition. I feel like you're going to be in a zone where you can feel things before they happen very strongly this week. And we've got moon in detriment, cut your losses. Okay. There, this, there is, there's going to be conversations this week where you could be feeling a bit challenged by somebody, but like not necessarily understand where their challenge is coming from. Um, it, or it could be, there could be somebody who's quite good with words or manipulation in some way, or like n not even necessarily in a, in a, uh, a harmful way it could be somebody that's just very good at navigating situations and tries to get you to do something that you don't necessarily feel aligned to or you don't believe in let's have a look what else is coming up for you but it's like a challenge oops okay we've got show the world the real you yeah we in a um, full moon in Aquarius and that's us talking about being in our integrity here and we've got adjustments are required third quarter moon Okay, I feel like it could, this could be in a relationship, could be family, could be friends, it could be a partnership, there's somebody, this could be just in general, or there's a specific person where you're used to bowing down, or you're used to not being what you might call, or might feel like is confrontational, you won't necessarily say your piece, because there's a, there's a, a war, a just a not wanting to a heart like to make something imbalanced, but there's an adjustment required in you to feel like that isn't the power of the balance of the relationship isn't on you, it's on both of you, and it's time to show the real world you. So this could even be playing out at work if you are, you know, you've got this really brilliant idea for something, but you don't feel like people are going to listen to you, or you feel like it, it's too late to share the idea, or it's gonna, um, it's gonna throw the dynamic or the that something the the atmosphere the energy in the in the workplace off balance 
it, this is about showing the world, the world the real you and the adjustments that are required is your feeling of or your perception of what that looks like the impact of what that will do because the impact your understanding on the impact of what that will do is stopping you from showing the real you it's not that you're you're being inauthentic it's that you it's time to be fully authentic and your intuition is right if you've got a feeling on something like a really strong feeling if you just think do you know what it just doesn't quite work or it's just not quite right let's try this or you that feeling is very strong this week especially if you have cancer moon the answers you need are coming yeah your feelings are coming before the answers your intuition is really strong look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius because you can see further ahead you definitely see the truth with this sagittarius energy coming up your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn have we all have we got i know yeah okay and we've got you are good enough full moon in virgo i feel like we've got one more do we have space for one more? Yes. Okay, we've got two more. Okay. So you are seeing something, you're seeing the bigger picture, but you can't quite necessarily, maybe you don't see the end result. Maybe you, you do see the end result, but you definitely feel like something needs to be adjusted, something needs to change. But for you to be able to do that for the greater good, there's an adjustment that's required in you, and then that mirrors into this situation, however, whichever kind of situation this, this is applying to. But you don't need the answers just yet, you just need the momentum of something. You need the momentum of this adjustment, the momentum of this change. And we've got you are good enough. So if you if you have been um not kind of pushing your thoughts or your your beliefs or your opinion so far as much as you really feel like you want to this is a really good week to be able to express that because you've worked really hard towards something and staying in your integrity and being honest and being truthful and being I want to say self-reflective as well it's like this is getting you to the point where you can stand in a room and speak an opinion that nobody else has in the room but because you are standing in your truth everybody else goes oh actually okay do you know what I didn't see it, see it that way but this is, you need to feel good enough that you can stand in that room, but like deeply, deeply good enough, like into your core. Um, because it's, it's really, it's never about being good enough, but sometimes when we feel a bit worried, it is about being good enough to get us to that next step, but there's never a good enough or a bad enough. This is always you being in your, your truest light, you being in this state of calm, this state of grounding, groundedness. Um, but there's signs as well. I feel that there'll be signs on when to communicate. Um, and we've got time for healing and a new romantic cycle begins. So this could be falling back in love with something. Doesn't have to be a person. Could be a situation. But there is a time for healing this week, especially with this cleansing. There could be like a new moon ritual that you do. Um, but there's you're falling back into alignment with something in in a with a romantic energy with this kind of creative romantic energy. We've got the we've got mercury going into leo on the second and that energy often brings a creative thinking it can bring like an increase in self-esteem as well so we can feel more confident off of that energy and um, it can also heighten the feeling of rejection especially when it's like when people there's a, um, a lack of appreciation or a lack of gratitude maybe not even towards us maybe we witness that towards other people um, and sometimes that can be quite strong with this energy, especially if you're if you're uh, if Mercury in your birth chart is in Leo, you might feel that a bit stronger this transition this week. Okay, what else do we need to know? Let's have a look at current energy. What's our current energy? I think we need one more shuffle. There we go. So let's have a look. What's our current energy? Page of Wands. Yeah, it's time to get back into playfulness, curiosity, the High Priestess. Beautiful. If you have cancer, strong cancer placement in your chart, these this week's going to be, might feel more intense, but this is going to be hitting everybody. This is really about being, and we've got the Eight of Cups, so walking away. This is walking away from old, emo 
old emotional self. There's a there is an under a, a wisdom that is really coming in to be expressed through you this week, and it doesn't matter about getting it quote unquote right. This is about you being just passionate about what you're saying. You, as long as you're connected to your truth and you are feeling passionate about what you're saying, it doesn't matter uh, because it will get you to where you need to be or it will help instigate something that you want to instigate. Um, but you do need to walk away from something here. And we've got the page of cups. If there is conflict, you will get an apology for that conflict in some way. We've got judgment. And the queen of cups. Okay, I think there's a, you could be coming up against a lack of, uh, a lack of maturity. We've got page of pentacles. I'm not actually, I don't usually pull them like this. I don't, let me just have a look at what's coming out because, um, yeah, they've just come different. We've got the seven of, okay, I understand now. We've got the seven of cups. There's I, somebody, I feel like somebody in this situation or an energy that you're picking up on comes across as very immature but actually there's an insecurity in them and they might not deal with the situation correctly in terms of truth in the initially but I feel they will come back and you'll be able to set on like actual like real ground whereas there could be a conflict with your opinion or what you want to you're trying to change or your communication to somebody your truth could push somebody else out of their alignment but it's I almost want to say it's a good thing because they come back and they they come back from this uh, I want to say immature reaction it's like a a condition reaction an immature reaction like a oh yeah no I don't care but actually inside we're screaming it's like somebody might give you that reaction and there's a bit of a conflict in there and you might feel disconnected for a bit but it will see itself through and then be on be on more stable ground okay because this person is just being a bit defensive so it's making they're not telling you the whole truth, which is making things hard to see. Oh no, we're going this way. Yeah. And so we're moving away from the mental. We've got the Six of Swords, the Empress. Nice. We can actually be in this, this truth. Yeah. Celebration. There's going to be that this friend is, for, for a lot of you, this feels like a friendship. It will be reignited at the end of this. There'll be a deeper emotional connection between the two of you. If this is a romantic relationship, there'll be like an understanding and there'll be like this heaviness will turn into to more fun more light-hearted play there's there'll be a, there's a nurturing that's coming away because instead of having like a mind battle which has perhaps happened in the past but that's how this person is being defensive through communication and through the mind but actually emotionally there's quite a lot of fragility there a lot of vulnerability that wants to come out they just don't know how to do that themselves but you are laying like a really a really gorgeous safe space for them to do that let's just have a look what else yeah we've got the four oops no it's it, I don't read these in reverse so sorry that was me going upside down um so there's a new star you and this you and this whatever it is that's outside of you but particularly with your own energy there's this new start so you've got this walking away from you letting go of something that is not emotionally fulfilling or emotionally satisfying or emotionally in alignment with yourself. This could be you letting go of how you've dealt with something in the past. You could have let things go. Um, whereas now you're like, do you know what? Actually, I don't want to let that go. I'm going to see that through. Um, because you, there has been like a resistance, to, but perhaps a resistance to change. But there's a purpose in this and it's for this new start somewhere. This fresh new way of, this a fresh new start. Okay, and we've got healing and inner child. So cancer energy wise, we're looking at inner child energy. So cancer rules our fourth house, um, which is where we kind of go from, we go from ourself and then it's kind of working out what we believe is true in the world, our values. And then we go into uh, like how our siblings are and our communication with siblings and, and people that are kind of close to us in our community, our neighbors. And then we go into, Okay, so I've seen how everybody else behaves. Where do I and where everybody else kind of settles? Where do I want to settle? Our roots, our home. So it can sometimes bring this loop uh, of inner child healing. 
because some of this walking away is all about walking away from things where this healing is needed and we've got this cleansing so it could be this week that there's a cleansing around um, any inner child wounds any there's a there's a very conscious awareness around healing this week that spirit want you to be aware of and it's inner child wounds related to how you react to when people maybe don't get your idea straight away likewise when some when somebody's coming into you when they don't understand your idea straight away they are reacting from inner child uh, wounds as well it's actually let's get another one okay courage yeah this is the courage to go into the unknown the courage to be the one that holds the light the courage to be the first one, the courage to step and do something different. But that's for everybody. Everybody's being asked in some way, whether it's a group of people or just you and one other person, everybody's being asked to do something different in this situation. It feels very purposeful for everybody, whatever comes up. Okay, let's see just the energy surrounding this because it feels very, very strong. What energy is surrounding this for the viewer, please? Spirit. Okay, one more shuffle, I think. There we go. That feels right. Sagittarius, I see this is all about the truth. This is all about seeing the truth. What else is at play here? Twelve house escape. This is all about what comes up this week, viewer, for you and for, for situations around you that you might see with people around you, close people around you, or anybody. There's been an escape to this healing. So there's been an avoidance and a resistance, but particularly an avoidance of, of this healing. This week it's going to become almost unavoidable for this healing to take place. I do feel, though, this healing will happen quite gracefully and quite peacefully once it's been once it's kind of opened up to um yeah there's a there is a peace that comes in with this because it doesn't feel it doesn't feel very tense it just feels that there's an, a, a, an afraid so there's a inner child's scared afraid energy that comes with it but that feel, I feel like that for everybody in the situation but where the Sagittarius energy is all around this truth. So where, what, it, what truth is it that is being highlighted that we cannot go past? What is it that is so, in, so clear in front, in front of us? Because for everybody, that's what this kind of, this new start leads to. But yeah. Let's have a look at the wisdom behind this. Illuminate the shadow, focus on a solution. Yes. This is all about focusing on the solution. So there is the shadow energy here is the staying in the, the escape. This is the being in illusion, being hidden, the un, this sort of unconscious energy. But it feels the escape of the healing, escape of something in the in childhood energy that's going to be highlighted this week and released this week. But that's what's been causing some shadow energy. And it's about the solution around that. So the solution is what feels healing, what feels cleansing, what feels good right now for this process. What else? It could be just that one. Let's have a look. Nope, spirits, they keep shuffling. Okay. I feel like this is, there we go. Energy signature, the past is the present. Okay, so it's understanding this extremely powerful time space experience that we are in versus the truth of the actual dimension of, of everything, the the all energy, the conscious energy. There's a there could be a lot of deja vu this week. Or people saying, do you know what, I'm sure we talked about that and you you definitely didn't or you don't remember it at all or recall it at all. So there's there's a feeling with time, but it's also the energy of the 
past, present and future. It's the moment. It's being truly in the moment and out of the mind, out of the con. We're moving away from the mind with this six of swords, moving completely away from concepts and into pure energy. Incredibly powerful move. Oops, okay. What do we have here? Oops. <laughs> We've got living light energy. See the beauty in life. Celestial gate keeper. Timing is critical. And secret temptation being led astray. So trust. That I feel like it's like there's two doors in front of you. Or there's two options. Or there's two ways that this whole situation can go. And spirit saying be aware be aware of the temptation of falling back into this escape. A celestial gatekeeper timing is critical. There's portal energy coming through with really strong portal energy. There's like a wisdom, you know, in your soul, in your heart space, in your spirit, in just your whole being, your energy being, your higher self, whatever language resonates for you. But there's, there's a, a greater, like a higher level, higher spiritual feeling of the timing of needing to do this now. And listen to that because there's there's a importance in that this week. And we've got living light energy. See the beauty in life. So see the beauty around everything. See the beauty of the decisions that you're making, the interactions you're having, even where there is, there could be this kind of conflict or this misunderstanding or this this uh, disagreement somehow. It does feel like it flows away if there is a disagreement. It, it does feel like it flows away and it doesn't feel like it's it feels temporary that's what I want to say it feels temporary okay let's get some advice for you for this week let's have a look and then we're going to look at action as well because this is very action orientated in terms of decision like just deciding what action to take because we've got watch for the signs as well here Yeah. <laughs> Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Yeah. So the, we've got this action energy. One more? No? Okay. Okay. So we've got this Hunter, this tracker energy. Tracking down the thing that you believe in. Track down, track down and pursue the things that you want. Shaman, trust in higher forces. Trust, there is a real beautiful wave of truth that is being, it is extremely apparent to you this week. It's like you haven't felt it this strong before. Trust that where it takes you and these signs. Druid, hold the space. I feel like this is for you this week. Hold the space for you in your truth, what you're, what you're expressing, where, what you're going towards. Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. This is the Empress card for me of this deck. And it's the, it is this, this Empress energy. It's this nurtured, beautiful, physical connection of love, of pleasure, of beauty. This is the Venus energy coming through. So there could be something that you need to do this week to hold the space for you to feel that level of, level of nurture. This could be with food. This could be in contact with water. This could be in contact with the beach, with the, with the, just the, your senses. This is really about tapping into your senses to be, one, to be in the moment because of the energy we've got with the past is the future here. There's something about the realisation of the moment that's coming in, this enlightenment energy, this awakening energy, but it's also not to be disconnected from the physical. And we've, yes, we've got lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. And this is about your healing journey. This is about your healing journey. This is about you being committed to be to the pathway, to your truth pathway. Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. I love that the hunter and the warrior came out together. Be fearless in the face of truth because truth will never do you harm. That's what I want to say. Spring, see your seeds grow. Yes. You can plant anything. You can plant, us as people, we can plant anything. We can plant the seeds for anything. And it's the truth of what we plant. It's the truth of the timing of that. 
because sometimes we think, oh, do you know, that's a brilliant idea. I'd love to do that, but it doesn't feel right right now. Maybe at some point I'll pick it up. And then leaving it, even if you feel that kind of temptation energy. And that could be with anything. That could be learning to uh, rock, uh, play an instrument. That could be going to a country. That could be anything. If it doesn't quite feel true or aligned, something's not quite right. And it doesn't mean that it's not, that it's a bad thing. The time is just not quite right. The feeling isn't there. But this, you've been planting these seeds, these seeds of truth, these seeds of light, these seeds of love. And they're, they're starting to blossom. Even if it's like a tiny, tiny little shoot, it's starting to come up now. And we've got drum, dream and journey. So for some of you, there's inspiration here that can be found in journeying um, or drumming. Or it could be drumming in, uh, in a group, perhaps, if you do that. For others of you, there's healing that will happen in your journeying. There'll be healing given in your journeying. If you need, this is upper world or lower world drumming for the healing. Probably there's something strong about this, <laughs> this energy for some reason. Um, there's a really strong lower world energy. So if you do resonate with uh, journeying, shamanic journeying, this would be a really good week for it. And with the new moon energy as well, it can be quite powerful to um, to coincide that type of a practice. Okay, let's sit. Let's, we're going to have a look what's blocked. We've got intuition. Oops, upside down. Third eye chakra, intuition. Intuition is the little tug that pulls you towards your light. Yes. So there is third eye work, perhaps. It could feel like you you have your third eye, your vision is blocked or your your mediumship is blocked or something something around your spiritual is blocked. But this is, I don't feel like it's blocked. I feel like just the, the voice of the mental is louder or the voice of somebody else outside of you is louder. And I, this feels like it's just a reminder to say no, trust yourself because intuition came up already. Moon maybe, intuition. And we've got security. To feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature. So something about the forest or the, the, the sea or, the, or a river or a lake. This is about getting into nature. The, the cancer energy is all about home. Our sense of home, our sense of security, our sense of root, rooting in ourselves, coming home to ourselves, coming home to our heart space. This doesn't necessarily mean physical environment, but it might be. For some of you, it might be clearing out your home or just sorting through your belongings. You might just get this big urge. I had this really big urge today to go through all of my drawers and just get rid of loads of old bits of paper and things I've never used before, things I haven't even taken out the packet. And just the cleanse of doing a few hours of just going through some drawers is like, is the feeling is really good. And I feel like for some of you, it might not be the same thing, but for some of you, you might wanna do something like that kind of cleanse as well as like in your physical home environment for others of you this is like sweeping away the cobwebs that are in this um this subconscious with the escape with the 12th house energy coming out something that is in that lower world journeying uh, it's something that could be in our subconscious something that is like a pattern or like a recurring memory if you keep thinking about something that's happened in the past that you haven't thought about for ages and all of a sudden it's coming up I feel like that's the thing that's just being asked to be recognised to release and that could be the signs as well for you. Or this feels a lot of a lot of different things this week, not just one thing. Let's have a look. So the cancer, so we've got obviously the sun in cancer and the new moon in cancer. So that could be feeling very strong as we go through this week. But it's all about our sense of home, coming home to ourselves and our sense of rooting. It could be um to do with a parent reflection as well okay there we go thank you okay we have grounding yes and um, so we've got where have we got grounding here sink your roots deep connect them to the heart of the earth so definitely get out into some kind of nature putting your feet on the earth or into a natural lake or a river or the sea just feels really nourishing it's it like gives you this burst of energy it kind of like takes away something it's like taking away the taking away any kind of bad toxins or taking away any 
kind of energy that feels like it's pulling you down it like draws it I just feel like it's drawing it away from you and that's why it feels important this week we've got out of chaos comes creation chakra balance so don't worry about what it looks like on the inside as long as the your inner world your inner home this inner rooting is calm and we've got forgiveness you'll find freedom in forgiveness I always say with it when this energy comes up as well, Ho'oponopono healing is wonderful for forgiveness. The energy, just the cycle of energy that comes through that practice is, is wonderful. Um, so perhaps if that resonates for you, uh, and it can help unlock the heart space or dislodge any any stuckness that's, that's in our heart space or in our, just in our, in our energy in general. And we've got trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge, third eye chakra. Yes, trust yourself. Trust these signs that are coming out. Trust what you know the universe is telling you. There is this forgiveness energy applies to yourself and others as well. So anything that's like we picked up on before, the energy of something that keeps coming up from the past, it's not that it's going to repeat itself. It's that it's just being asked to be let go of. Let's have a look at that actually for you. What do we need to know about this path? I think I've um, shuffled, just seen, I might shuffle these all upside down, um, let's different ways. So we won't take anything in reverse here. Um, but let's look at what this past energy is. We've got the High Priestess. Okay, Queen of Wands. not these ones so really high priestess ace of wands queen of wands and the two of pentacles do you know the only thing i'm getting with this is there was a reluctance to there was a reluctance to see the truth be realistic with someone and you don't want to go down that same road. It's kind of like if somebody's like, oh, has this really romanticised version of love and you also believe in love but in a different way. This person would travel to the other side of the world to, to go on the first date with someone um, because they had this really good feeling about it and they followed their passion but there was no grounding in the passion and it could have led to you feeling like there's no you can't follow your passion because it always leads you wrong and that's the wrong choice or that's out of balance in some way and that is stopping you from following your passion this time you might believe that it always ends up wrong what's the healing here Yeah, this is about taking action from your, we've got the King of Cups, taking action from emotional maturity and wisdom. I think that might be, let me just see if we've got anything else. Yeah, that's everything. This is about being mature, being wise, being emotionally connected, being able to ride the waves rather than rush things through. You are in a completely different place to this energy. So it's absolutely amazing to follow your passion but it needs to be balanced any too much of anything is off balance too much of one thing that might look good is also off balance any loads and loads of fire energy loads of passion energy is really great but if it's not grounded it doesn't come into fruition and it just burns it just burns through loads of emotional water energy is brilliant because it gives us our sense of flow and creativity to, to some degree with the with the fire energy it gives us this emotional connection this this connection to our heart space to other people it gives us this openness but definitely this sense of flow and the sense of surrender that we all need to go through but just that sense without any passion means that we have this sense of flow and openness but we don't necessarily have any desire to move towards with that emotional drive or that emotional connection or that emotional energy so everything needs to be in balance but you are in this the healing is the king of cups for you so it's using your emotional maturity to navigate 
navigate a situation where you do feel incredibly passionate about it. Because we've got this Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands and the King of Cups creates absolute magic. And um, it could be fire sign, water sign for some of you. Okay. Let's have a look a little bit deeper on your journey, viewer. What's happening on your journey here? What's happening for the viewer on the viewer's journey, please, Spirit? What do we need to know this week? Okay, we have Enko, Kila, Sia, Priest, Priestess, and Soul Purpose. We have, I'm pretty sure, yes, we did. The High Priestess has come out three times. The High Priestess is the veil between the worlds, can represent Cancer and Pisces. Pisces has come out already with this um, 12th house energy slightly. Um, we've already got that energy here. But this is, there is a seer energy, there is a, the, the feminine wisdom energy that's coming out really strongly for you. Trust that. I feel like this is spirit saying, please trust it. Please trust that what you are sensing, experiencing, dreaming, having visions of is true. And this is, there's something about you being a healer in that space. And we've got plunge. Don't hold back. It's time. Go for it. Dive in. Take this leap of faith. It's time. The, the reason it hasn't happened before now is because the timing was crucial. And let's get one more. The pearl. Alchemy. The reward at the end. From grit to grace. So the high priestess energy is the feminine energy of the alchemy. The, the magician is the masculine version of that alchemy. But the feminine is the high priestess. And this is about creating the spiritual feminine energy in the physical world. And it's bringing the, bringing the, the physical in to your spirituality rather than bringing spirituality to physical, I think. That feels... Yeah, it's starting with the spiritual but connecting it deeply and rooting it in the physical. Okay, let's have a look at, let's have a look at these signs. What do we need to know about, is there anything that we need to look out for from numbers that you might see? Let's, because you've got this, watch out for the signs. I think we just had a flip there as well. 0505, Unexpected shift, divine intervention, sudden challenges, love, pleasant surprises, and gut feeling. That's exactly what has come out for you. This, this, uh, this reading as well, viewer. So there's some, there's, there could be a challenge with another person. It's about staying deeply in your integrity. It's like literally taking a breath, stay in integrity, and avoid drama. That's the cycle. It's these three things. Um. If anything falls away from you being in your truth, walk away from it. Cut your losses with it. It's not worth it. It pulls you away from where, from your life purpose, from your pathway, from your spiritual pathway. So 0505 could be numbers to look out for this week. Okay. 0707. And we've got 888. So 0707, compromise, self-awareness, forgiveness, professionalism, empathy, tenacity, and freedom. Yeah, this is about you being in a place of compassion and being able to compromise, but without being, without compromising your own truth, without giving up any part of yourself. Because that doesn't, it doesn't have to be that we compromise ourselves to come up with a compromise. This feels very strong in the workplace, but it could be in any any area of life for you, or perhaps more, more than one. And we've got 888 karma. Balance, finances, success, wealth, cycles, what goes around comes around. What did we have earlier where... This, this is making me remember something from earlier. It, it's the what goes around comes around. I think we had, ah, so see your seeds and grow and enjoy growth and reap rewards. Something that you've been trying to plant, trying to create, it, 
any for any period of time this could be in the last few months this could be in the last few years for some of you this is a long time coming this is you're going to see the success of that this week so look out for the, their number sequences or if they mean anything to you specifically relating to your life your pathway or something that you're working on let's have a look what's activating what is activating You, this, you feel very assured, viewer, like very self-assured. And it feels very liberating. Okay, we've got balance, stability and standing firm. Yeah, this is about being totally rooted this week. Anything else? Okay. And we have, I just want to see if there's anything else that flipped there actually, no? No. Okay, we have a lot of balance coming in. Things have been really off balance in some way. It could be that you felt really in the spiritual or not in the physical, or really in the physical, not in the spiritual. It could be that things have been really unfair, really unjust for a while, but they're coming back into balance. It could, it could just be that you haven't been heard you haven't been seen, heard, understood, and that's coming back into balance with expressing your truth, being in your integrity. And we've got harvest, gathering of blessings. So you really are in reaping rewards energy here. The harvest, this is your time to harvest. Okay. I'm going to put that there. And we've got friendship, support, fun, unity, and play. There's something around your friends celebrating with your friends or having a deeper connection with your friends and just them supporting you but also the lightness of the energy that your friendships bring this week helps you move forward helps you get through anything that feels stuck or challenging okay let's have a look at action energy Ooh, we're gonna run out of space aren't we okay let's have a little look at action energy okay because cancer is a cardinal sign which is the energy where we move forward we initiate we take action so let's have a look at and there's definitely mo movement this week and it feels like it's with others oh okay no way vishnu balance everything in balance everything in balance this week yeah and beauty we had that earlier i feel like it's coming we had that i think it was this deck wasn't it uh, see the beauty in life see the beauty in everything the challenge the journey the transformation the transition and we've got ty typhon anger and rage the the reaction that we were getting earlier the anger covers up everything so anger covers there's a there's a purity in anger and a power in anger when it's used in the truth of the emotion and there is there is a kind of a power that can drive us to make change through anger but when anger's covering grief or it's covering the loss of something or it's covering another emotion it's like the best like moat that we can put around ourselves and I feel like that's what this is saying if somebody gets angry with you this week or you get really angry and you're not sure why it's covering up this this inner child healing and then it's this anger energy that then kind of transforms into this courage that gives you that push that like life force energy forward <coughs> excuse me very tickly throat. Okay, let me see where this is, this action is leading towards in terms of your uh, your gateways, your pathway. Let's have a look. What's being kind of activated for you through this? Okay, we have leadership. Yes. This is you taking the lead in your own life. 
conflicts could be leadership with someone else. This success could be a promotion at work, perhaps. But this is you taking the lead in your own life in a way that is that nobody else can argue with. And we've got wisdom. The wisdom to walk away. The wisdom to have a conversation. The wisdom to plant seeds and know that they can take a time to harvest. It's like you're reflecting back on your decisions and seeing the wisdom in those decisions. <laughs> Beautiful, we've got fulfillment. Yeah, Every, it's like all of the pennies drop this week. It like all falls into place. I love this. Okay, let's just look at the energy to move forward with. What energy should we be embracing to move forward? this week what energy should we be embracing it's like you you know what's going to happen but you don't know how you're going to get there we've got thunder so there's something that's going to rumble this week this is could this could be the anger that comes up but there's something that is really trying to make a sound something that's coming that feels like it could be explosive, but it will pass, okay, it will pass. And we've got the mystical shaman. This feels like this, um, the timing thing. So the past and the present, the past is, is in the present. So it's understanding the different dimensions. This is about really tapping into that high priestess energy yourself this week tap into this high priestess energy this shamanic energy this mystical shaman energy of the the knowing of that energy in that can go through all the dimensions that can exist in all of the dimensions that can be in all of the dimensions because it's like you're traveling astral travel maybe upper world middle world lower world definitely upper world lower world travel but this is you being able to go into any, the freedom to go anywhere that you want to go. Okay. Let's get some guidance for you then, viewer. This is also, this is also um, making me feel like seeing things from different angles. And we've got wisdom again, wow. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. I feel like that came out recently in another reading, but I can't remember which one. Okay, <laughs> so the reason I'm pausing, for those of you that work with animal guides, animal spirits, there could be either you work with an owl or there's an owl coming in to work with you. Um, the, the, and the energy of an owl, owl wisdom, owl medicine. But either way, um, however you resonate with the energy of the owl, the, the animal spirit or the animal, there's a, a wise leader in you that is being, that is emerging this week. Is that everything? That might be everything, yep, there we go. It's everything from that deck. Okay. Okay, can we just get some messages of guidance, please, Spirit, for this week coming up? Let's have a look. Um, yes, okay. Thank you, and we have creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So get, create, get creative. With, with Mercury going into Leo this week as well, there is this, and Leo being the creative, one of the kind of the creative energies. And Leo rules our fifth house, which is all about creation, hobbies, um, creativity, in a, in, as well as many other things. There could be, you could be feeling that very strongly, especially if you've got the, um, the Mercury, Mercury in, the, in Leo as well. And we have Blue Flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Finding home in yourself. Finding that light in yourself, knowing that it exists outside of you and it exists inside of you at the same time. There's this duality that's coming into play 
we've got Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. So another message for you, viewer, to say, connect with the Earth space. And we've got celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. There are so many reasons to be happy this week. I feel very strongly with celebration. And we've had a lot of that. That could be with friendships. There could be perhaps um, like a evening out with friends or some kind of celebration, some kind of happiness, some kind of news that makes you happy or that you get good news about something. Okay, let's get one last card viewer for you for this week. What's the last thing we need to know, Spirit, as we go through this week? Okay. Okay. Unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. High Priestess all over. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirit of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. This is really your time to step into something that is deeply divine. Very powerful week ahead for you, viewer. Very powerful week. Okay, I hope that that's helped with some of the energy that you're feeling and what you might be picking up on in the collective this week. Have a wonderful week ahead and thank you for watching as always and I'll see you next time. Take care.